All right, class. Hey, man, is that in the right place? Um, let's get it. <sighs> Camera keeps trying to fall and get level my cock. All right, what's up, everyone? What's good? YouTube, the world web. As you guys can see, man, in live HD, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu. And I'm back at you guys with a, a quick thrift fix, aka a nice little um, restoration project. And uh, we got two Tommy for your mommy kicks to actually restore. Both of these are found live and direct in the thrift store, believe it or not. So the first pair we're gonna start off with was found by my homie um, Matthew, AKA One Subject. So if you guys um, wanna like stay up to date with someone who does a really dope photography, go ahead and fuck with my homie. He takes a lot of pictures for me, is really talented, so I love putting talented people on in my videos. Um, but yeah, man, the shoes we have up are these Tommy Trail Figure hiking boots. And um, these are really cool. They're like olive, tan, they have red laces, blue interior, really cool Tommy flag on the tongue. And then they have these nice little black bottoms with the Tommy flag and the red pull tab on the butt. So yeah, these shoes are just very dirty. So I wanna go ahead and fix those up. These I don't think will take all too long to uh, rasterize. But this is basically what you guys will find if you're thrifting. You may be deterred from grabbing kicks if they are dirtier, like these. What are those? So yeah, bro, these have definitely seen better days. The outside of the leather is really beat up. It has a lot of dirt blemishes and stains on it. The inside definitely needs to be cleaned. And unfortunately on the bottom, you're missing a whole entire Tommy flag, which is an absolute travesty. But these shoes still have a lot of life in them and they actually are my size. So I copped these off the homie at DFW Vintage Swap Meet. And uh, it finally is the day to rejuvenate these kicks, bring life back in them and actually rock them. So anyways, guys, without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and hop, skip and jump into this little quick thrift fix, rasterization of some Tommy kicks and uh, do it. Let go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, what up? So here are the boots in their original form, which is terrible. So the first step in this little cleaning process was to rip out all the laces. So I just jacked that licorice straight up out the lace holsters. And once those were out, I got a clear view of what the kick looked like. And my Lord, it had lace scars AF. So to clean the laces, I just threw them in some water, got some Dawn dish soap, just squeeze it in there. And then I whipped out a toothbrush and I just stirred up the whole concoction. And that is my lace cleaning method. Now, looking at the shoes, they had stains all on the tongue, lace marks, the little Tommy Hilfiger flags were dirty, also working the way down. You just see the suede just has little scuff marks, scar marks, little white shit, the outsoles are gross, and there are some major damage areas along the ankles of the boots. So to clean these shoes, I use Angela's suede cleaner, even for the inside, just because if I used water and water got on the suede, it would damage the suede. So I just started working my way through the inside to remove any dust, bacteria, or other fucking creatures that were living in the lining of this kick, because it has seen its fair share of mountains and trails, just know that. So I got the tongue all clean, and once the inside was scrubbed down to perfection, I was ready to actually debacterialize that bitch, so I used some fresh fogger. That is the time tested and true technique for killing germs. I sprayed it all on the inside of both shoes, and then we were good to go in this hoe. Then I whipped out the Angela Sway Clear and I poured it in half a little like plastic bottle that held some Coca Cola. And then I started cleaning the suede uppers. So again, if you guys are cleaning suede, you have to use suede cleaner. It is linked down below in case you guys are by curious as to what I am using. But yeah, so you start off by just gently rubbing in the suede cleaner in one region. So that's the olive suede right here. Then I did the inside as well and I lightly and I mean lightly just wiped off the region with a towel just to speed up the drying process and to remove any dust like fragments and filament that's all upon the suede. Then I got the suede cleaner, I hit up that tongue. Now unfortunately the scar marks on the tongue I'm not able to remove just because that is permanent shui damage. And then I did focus on the flags a little bit just to clean those suckers up as well. So yeah, it was a lot of wrist work, a lot of brushing, a little wipe down, but then the tongues were looking clean and a lot of the suede was actually looking clean at this point as well. So the next step was I used the same suede cleaner again in case it leaked onto the upper to actually clean the outsole. Now I had to clean the outsoles like five times because they had this weird ass texture that just trapped all the dirt and debris, the dust, 
all that shit. So I had to make sure I was thorough in the cleaning process. I wiped it down and then we were goody. So the last region to clean was the tan part of the suede. Again, just lightly applied it. You don't want to scrub too hard because you can permanently fuck up the shoe. So again, be light, gentle, nice strokes. And this is a detailed glance. I just attacked that big ass mark multiple ways, multiple directions, multiple little brush techniques, and then the mark was gone. So that is the magic and the wonder of suede cleaning. And then last but not least, I dried the laces and then I burnt the edges just so I could easily slide them into the little eaglets of the shoe. So right here, I'm just melting the end, getting it nice and hot. And then I actually got out some pliers to shape it a little bit. I added some paint on the ends, which you guys don't see, but just know I did that shit. And uh, the laces were good. So I just threw them in the shoe. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it when cleaning some Tommy boots. And um, I honestly was pleased with the result. Honestly, I'm not gonna bring them back. They're over 20 years old to the original form, but they do look very clean and are wearable and don't look dirty as fuck. So I was pleased with the process and that's all you guys have to do to restore some Tommy boots. And here's shoe number two, my lord. It's the Tommy Icon sneakers. Look at this 360, dude. These shoes are disgusting as fuck so these guys i definitely have to handle in the same method that i handled the boots which was first and foremost to rip out all the laces and these guys right here then i went ahead and rotated the shoes to the side for all the great angles got a cup with water the dawn dish soap and you guys already know the process just stirred the laces up in there let them marinate for a little bit and uh i'll dress them in a second but first oh my holy hell look how disgusting the soles of the shoes are so I had to use my bootleg lint roller aka tape and a brush to remove all the sediment and um, disgusting fungal matter on the bottom of these little insoles. I uh, also cleaned them off some soap and water and then whipped out some bleach to scrub down the inside of the shoe with. This just helped whiten the interior sock lining which was a little discolored due to age. Now the next thing I did was just get some soap and water and start scrubbing down the entire facade and surface of this shoe. So I had to get into all the crevices nice and deep like. I had to really push it to the limit on the outsole with the Tommy Hilfiger letters because dirt was just melted to each and every single vowel and consonant on that bitch. Then I got a towel and just wiped it off as well. And then I started hitting the little like sewn woven material on the top with some Dawn and uh, water once again. It is just a time tested and true concoction for cleaning. Then this is really the crucial step, guys. I got out some nail polish remover and some little like uh, cotton swab pad things, and I just started wiping down the shoe. You guys can literally see the shoe go from like this off-white yellow color to pure cocaine because I'm removing this clear coat of paint and getting to that pure white layer, and that is absolutely beautiful, as you guys can see on the booty of the shoe. A world of a difference on that ass. So I also use it to get some tough little scuffs and just to clean up the outsole. Then to wash off all that nail polish remover, I just clean the shoe once again, wipe it all the way down. And that pretty much is the level of whiteness we're gonna have on it. Now there were these little glue marks from where I guess the outsole was adhered to the upper. So I went ahead and just whiten that down with some coca in the paint. And I uh, just had to get all the details. Now, fortunately, I had this dramatic conversation with the female while I was doing this, so I didn't capture that many angles. But the next part of the shoe that I did hit up were the little woven regions, and they were really gross and definitely not white. So I watered down some white paint and actually started painting those regions as well. I had to add a few different coats, um, and I did water it down. That way, I could preserve the texture of this woven like ribboning, and that is exactly what I did. So I hit it with a giant brush, then I got in all the crevices with a tiny detailed brush and I probably did about three to four coats until it looked nice and even Stevens in that bitch and uh there it is man and just as a little reminder here's the shoe that I cleaned up and this is where it came from like look how disgusting that is it is a world of a difference, I'm telling you guys. And all I did was, once again, just clean them up. So here are the kicks on feet. I did spray some um, finisher, some nice Krylon matte finisher on these guys just to seal in the paint job. But uh, they look pretty good on feet. Obviously, for a 20-plus-year-old shoe, these things look great. A little bit wrinkled, but hey, ain't nothing to worry about. I love the way they came out. 
and now they're actually rockable, baby. The OG Tommy Icon sneakers. Skirt. All right, guys. So um, I just want to conclude this video by saying thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this just goes to show that you can easily transform thrifted shoes with just a little bit of that TLC, um, the learning channel. No, but for real, man, um, as a side note too, these butts are going to be for sale on thriftheavenvintage.com. That is my vintage website. So if you guys would like to acquire a, um, pair of vintage Tommy boots and wear size nine in us men's, then here you motherfucking go. A link is in the description down below. Also, so, sorry about my uh, vulgarity. If your like grandmother was in the room or your really Christian girlfriend. Um, I also have these little Tommy icon seekers that are remaining in my personal collection just because they are my size. They're gifted to me by one of you guys and uh, they're honestly just very dope shoes all around and I really look forward to building some fits with these. But yeah, man, thanks for watching. Live the dream. Eat that vegan ice cream and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, suckers. Oh, and watch my Mickey Mouse um, tutorial when I customize those pants. That video will be popping up right now killing these songs leaving a bloody life i roost and i'm in it to win it so i'm somebody that you should get used